Hey there, this is Darla Nunley. And I am Judy Hayes, and we are on an episode of Real Talk. So today we are going to explain and let you know what deferred means. The Webster's definition of defer means to pay later or to put off. That's right. All right, so why do we need to know that in the real estate industry? There are times that you may get in a bind that you need to defer or put off your mortgage payment. Maybe there's been a medical issue. Maybe mm -hmm. there's been a job loss. Mm -hmm. There's been some sort of hardship uh, that you're having to deal with and you can't make your mortgage payment. So you have reached out to your lender to ask for a deferred payment. And they're gonna want proof exactly of what's going on. So you can't just call and say, you know what, we're having a hard time, we can't make our payments. They're gonna need some type of proof that you are in a financial bind and you cannot make your payments. And let me be specific, that bind is not that you just went and bought a new bass Correct. boat and now you cannot pay your mortgage. Guys, no, gentlemen, I don't understand. that is not it. So what happens is, is you defer your payment. Let's be very, very clear up front. It's very, very expensive to defer your payment. So let's just use the calculation for ease of $2,000 a mm -hmm. month. You de you defer it for 90 days, two, four, six, that's $6,000, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You not only owe 6,000, you owe penalties and interest on top of that, okay? They have stopped and postponed it, but they have absolutely not forgiven you of this debt. Correct. Now, welcome to the federal government, right. you're gonna pay more right. than so, the 6,000. So I understand when they stop, when they defer it, they're literally taking it out and saying, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna put it over here. You still owe it, mm -hmm. but you don't have to pay it right, right now. now, okay? That doesn't mean that everything stops and then you pick it back up again. Because the interest is like tick, 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 The interest tick, is tick, ticking tick, away. It is not stopping. So we, we absolutely understand uh, being in bad situations, but as soon as you can get that, that payment going again, get back on, it again. Get back on track. So and if you can send something in at all, that might be an option for your lender too. You have to talk to them about what if I can make partial payments. There's, they will always offer, they do not want to foreclose on your home. It costs no. them money. They lose money on that asset when they foreclose. And let me tell you this, even if you're not listing your house, pick up the phone and call one of us because so many people misunderstand this and they get right. themselves in a predicament that they can't get out of. And I'm going to say these lenders, loan modification officers they are not as clear. Explain. They don't explain mm -hmm. it and they send you a, a documents this thick and you're just clicking. You're just trying to, to get the bleedings to stop. You're right. just trying to get some help. But there's a whole lot of fine print in every one of those. And you have got to understand what it says and what it means before you sign. So let's be clear. It's not free. Number two, it's expensive. And number three, you will pay for it at the end. You cannot sell your house without paying the deferred payment for some reason people think that it just stops and nothing and then they, happens and then they pick it back up that's not that it. is not what that happens. is not it that is not it right so if you have an interest in finding out how you can get some help maybe with a situation that you're going through pick up the phone give us a call we have a lot of um, knowledge on this and we can certainly help walk you through that process and let me tell you the most important thing is to be transparent with your real estate agent Absolutely. you need to tell us everything we can't help you if we don't know all the facts going on sometimes it can be embarrassing sometimes it can be difficult to talk about but um, to be honest it's nothing we haven't seen well, or done and that's our job right. that's what let us know but if you don't tell us the facts we can't help. Right, and understand that it's our fiduciary duty as realtors to be confidential absolutely. with what information that you give us. So there is absolutely no threat of anything that you expose to us that's going to be made public knowledge or we're gonna you know, put any type of condemnation or judgment on you at all. We have come up across this between family members that have you know, family, uh, they've had family that have passed away and now they've got a note they gotta take mm -hmm. on and they've had some things happen or people have lost their jobs. In 2022, the pandemic really messed a lot of things up when these right. lenders were calling and saying, hey, you don't have a job, we'll give you that deferred payment. So, And what's happening with those now, are they now are making those people catch up on their mortgages from the pandemic and other situations. Right. So again, um, I'm Judy Hayes with Design Realty Group. And I'm Darlene Enley and this is Real Talk.